and we're back. You tuned in to Sports Federation TV from the martial arts world of karate now to a world um, of a board game and one of uh, historically one of the most popular board games in the world. Uh, Chess is with me now and joining us is two representatives from the world of, ch of chess. We have Mukiwe Zinganto and Tando Shlakula. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, from your smiles, I can see <laughs> that uh, that you that you love your sport. Oh, yes. And uh, you're here to share some recent developments with us and some upcoming uh, events. Yes. Uh, but uh, before we get into that, how did you get involved with the uh, sport of chess? Not many people know it's an actual sport. Mm. Um, how did you get involved with it? Well, uh, I, I learned chess when I was uh, still young, back in the days, by chance, though. And yeah, from from then, the passion for it went on and on. Okay. So, yeah. And with you? And with me, I'm currently still learning how to play chess, which is exciting and scary at the same time. So I, current, I got involved through him. We've known each other for years, and he was like, okay, listen, I'd like to have a female on board please come join us because we have young kids and they're females so if they can see a female figure mm. then i think they'll be comfort as well so please join us and then i joined that way lovely now tell us about the crossroads um chess club okay the club was established in 2015 uh, uh, i got invited by the crossroad library to f to form a club and uh, back, back, back then like we started with like uh 10 kids or so and the, the 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 game itself was very strange and foreign to them like they they've never even seen a board uh, I, would, I would even go that far mm. so yeah it's it has been uh, a long way since then and there has been ups and downs and stuff like that okay where is the crossroads uh, club situated in crossroads <laughs> in that's in yanga yes. in yanga yes. okay you're also involved in that project yes i am Okay. Now the kids that you talk uh, that you talk about, um, how young are they? Are we basing the the club at a school or is it in a community center? We we, we started off in in in, in the Crossroad Library. Mm. Then through our time, we expanded into supporting schools. We 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 actually coach school, and we have like uh, two schools, and consist of forty players each school in our club as well that that works out to maybe okay 35 i mean it's 40 40 plus 35 with our club so it's over 100 yeah it's over 100 kids, kids so far yeah. <laughs> and the yeah. age range from uh, six five i'll say seven is it seven grade one seven right yeah grade yeah. one yeah. is seven yeah from seven yeah, yeah. We have kids from that age. Okay. Now we all know uh, Nyanga is one of the areas, uh, a low socioeconomic area. Um, yes. uh, so it would be, I would say the, the, the initiative is well placed, mm -hmm. firstly. Um, how do you get the buy-in from the parents to, to let their children be involved <laughs> in the sport? Well, they're a bit skeptical about the sport. Yeah. Mostly with their <coughs> girls' parents because they as we all know that chess is a men's game it mm -hmm. has been dominated by men so now it's chess and so it's some kind of like okay for my daughter what should i do so but they are part of it some are like no i don't think they should join the team because they don't understand the game i think it comes back to they, their understanding with chess and what's in there for them even in the future yeah yeah, and this is also a learning opportunity, yes. um, you know, for other federations who are tuned in because a lot of federations want to tap into those um, areas where sport is needed the most. Yeah. And it is those low socioeconomic areas. Um, how did you manage to win the parents' confidence to let them, uh, let their children trust you with their children, mm. first of all, um, and also to make the sport attractive? To a child because we've got rugby we've got cricket we've got soccer and you're telling that child hey here's a board <laughs> and some pieces oh how do you make it exciting okay you have to do a lot of convincing because <laughs> at, at first like as she said we're a bit skeptical because they don't know the game and they don't know any benefits mm. of chess because we are used to rugby so, <laughs> and stuff like yes. that. so you need to en to engage them and be patient but at least they know if they play in chess that takes them away from the environment that we live in because mm. you know we live in an environment 
that is uh, filled with so many ailments. And so at least she has mm. a positive thing, you know what I mean? Was, was that the vision for this project? Initially, yes, to keep them away from the streets, from mm -hmm. crime. So we thought, okay, if we could teach these kids at an early age about chess and learn the skills, develop themselves, then we'll be like bringing the change in our community. Is this, uh, is this a Crossroads um, uh, Chess Club? Is it an initiative of um, you, the Western Province uh, Chess, uh, or was it uh, born from an individual's um, passion? Basically, the, the Western Province Chess is a mother body that we get affiliated to it. So starting the club, it's like we start a club on our own, then you need to affiliate in order to play mm. in the league and other Western Province competitions. So Tando, was this your brainchild? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Yeah, I, I don't know why he keeps on running away from it. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, I mean, it's if a, you made the baby, you must own it. <laughs> it's more of a, 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 a collective contribution. Yeah. So I think it's a bit unfair to. <laughs> to okay, yeah. no, I hear you. I yeah. hear you. Let's yeah. say you initiated the dream. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, we know what the vision is. And, and sometimes the vision can be so far from the reality, you know, or, or the goals can be so far from what the reality is. But let's focus on the positives now. Mm. What is this, what, is, what do you perceive this to mean to those kids that are involved in the project? Okay, the, the chess itself, it's very beneficial in like socially, like you get to interact with a lot of people and it's also social upliftment pro project and uh, academically like it enhances your cognitive abilities so there's there's a lot like i i can mention a, a, a lot there's so much you get out of chess yeah so mm. what else <laughs> yeah you can intelligency because you'll be the smartest kid in the world yeah. and, and and also it, it i mean it, it maps out to life because mm. chess it's a game of ideas like of making crucial decisions so even in life, you, you, you need to be trained. I mean, in a, in, in a board game, yes. you make those decisions with, with pieces, but in life, it's like, that's a real story. Like, yeah. you need to be trained for that. We never know the future tacticians of the world <laughs> can come from Crossroads <laughs> Chess Club. Yeah. Hey. They are going to yeah. come. <laughs> now, 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 being a, a black female mm -hmm. uh, that's involved in the sport and you having roped her in uh, quite strategically, I would say, uh, has it made quite a big difference? A lot. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. she handles the marketing and PR and she runs the club and all the stuff that we couldn't get to, that's where she comes in. And when I'm around <laughs> with <laughs> classes, like we just came from another session now yes. at Imbasa, one of us, the schools that we coach. When they see me, the young girls, they behave. But when he's alone yeah. and with the, one of the guys that we work with, yes. they don't behave. But when I'm around, just look at them like this and they'll be, they'll be good. They yeah. behave. So, yeah, I can see my contribution. <laughs> yes, yes. And then, you know, we must uh, straight talk, uh, as I always say. Yes. Uh, I mean, not only are we, um, you know, in a world that's uh, very patriarchal, but we live in a country that's historically patriarchal and yeah. still currently very strong patriarchal roots. So you, you are trying to, to uh, make something evolve in a context where historically it's dominated by men. Yes. Uh, currently even yes. and, and with the sport as well like you said and I was surprised to hear you say that that chess is seen as a as a, as a men's sport mm -hmm. in your community um, if, if you look at the ratios now of the little girls and the little boys that are participating at what ratio are we looking at percentage wise mm. we always try like to bring more girls even with the like selecting players in the schools we always try to get more girls I think we have more girls than boys it's probably how many girls? Probably have 60, 40, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and then but, okay. it's, it, but it's a struggle to work with girls. I, I don't want to lie to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's Woman. A struggle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. It's a struggle. Yeah, it's because we think on so many different levels at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me some highlights of the activities that you've had thus far. Uh, that's quite a lot. Uh, I think the very first one uh, would be 
having to achieve like uh, forming a formidable club, a formidable club, and having players that can actually compete mm. at the provincial provi provincial level. And one of the highlights of 2017, we won the Western Province Chess League in the C Division. I mean, having started playing chess from 2015 November, just with one year, and then we won the league. That's something we can pride ourselves with. Amazing. And there has been, with, with each and every competition that we go to, there's always, uh, we, we win every now and then. So recently we had uh, six, is it six or seven? Yes, eight, six. Yeah, players that qualified to play in the metros closed. So that's, that, 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 that's, that's, that's something that that's something will go a, a long way you know what yes. i mean and this uh, goes a long way to just yeah. encourage the other children <laughs> like hey exactly. we're going places yeah. exactly. you know and yeah. you're from crossroads yeah. yes okay so it's a name they must know so um you said the nationals will be coming up soon yeah when will the when will the nationals take place and in which province yeah. uh i think i think here in Cape Town sometime in August, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. there, is a, there is a calendar with all the events that will, ha will be happening this year. Yeah. But I'm not sure of, of, of yeah. offhand where, where, when exactly, but I think it's here in Cape Town. Let's talk facilities and what the community can do to make your project more accessible to more children in Nyanga. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Uh, okay. <laughs> we... First and foremost, we need them to give us their kits. Um, secondly, we still need more equipment like the chess boards, the projectors and everything. So because as well with the space, but currently we're using their Crossroads library, which has been very helpful to making this project work. So what else can we add on that? We need a lot. Yeah, that, that, that is quite the, a lot. The notation yeah. clocks. Those are the things that we use, and they even use them at the tournaments. So, yes. as the organization, we have ours, which they're not enough, and they're quite expensive to buy. So, equipment mm -hmm. and a facility yes. that's properly uh, conducive to playing the game at its highest standard, yeah. and, and or at a good enough standard, yeah. anyway. And cooperation as well, because they, yeah. Okay. All right. So at the moment, using um, a Crossroads Library, yes. And uh, is do you have specific needs in terms of the actual chess equipment? If there's somebody out there who's watching that can maybe buy you chess boards, more yes. chess boards for your children. Okay. S since we started, we we've been like sustaining the the club of our pocket, so it's very costly. The game itself, it's very expensive. So if we can fund uh, funding, because there's, there's a lot that goes in, into chess. Even when you go to play in competitions, you have to play an entry fee, which will, will range from 150 to 300 rand. And also, say you have like 35 kids taking to a tournament, so that's a lot. And transport as well, and equipment. So in any way that we can be assisted, like it, it will be mostly appreciated. Mm. And the fact of the matter is most of these children are the children of parents who may be unemployed or living on minimum wage. Oh, hey. yes. Exactly, and we live in under, is it called underprivileged? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. underprivileged, yeah. yes, let's yeah. just put it uh, yeah. like it is, say it like it is. Exactly. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. And um, if they, is, do, does Crossroads Chess Club have a Facebook page? Yes, we do have okay. a page, okay. which is Crossroads Chess Club. Okay. People can find us there. All right, and, and get in touch with, with you both there yes. if there is any way that they can yes. assist. We would gladly like that. It's three words, like Crossroads Chess Club, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. three words, Crossroads Chess Club on Facebook. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank thank you. And thank you for the amazing work you're doing in the community. Oh, thank, thank you for you. having us. Uh, okay, uh, dear viewers, we, uh, that's Crossroads Chess Club, and, and this is an amazing initiative. By, by people who are passionate about the community and are trying to do things for kids who otherwise would have very little else to do um, in a location uh, that is known for being one of low socioeconomic uh, issues and all the related um, issues around that. Um, after the break, we'll be back with another sport and the Bashers competition, so please stay tuned for that.